All right. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here on Nelly. How are my adventures doing? So, like I've said in my um, video talking about Grand Fantasia Origin, there are at least three servers. Well, private servers of the original server that have, you know, come back to life. And the first one that I am going to be looking at today is uh prime yeah grafitasia prime is randomly came back they're doing a whole new restart from what i from what i know i'm curious where they're gonna take this because they've been through quite a lot of changes since they since the uh the admin of the server came back hold on let me let me just go in yeah Okay, so quite a few changes already. So machinist passes have changed. Um, all right, I guess we'll do server info first. So it is times two XP. So basically the normal XP times two fame. GM titles from altars times two arena xp and they are basically doing the same thing that uh pilot does which is give you like little currency that you can use for like the bonus shop right here you buy a few few items first i would save up for bags who are desperate for bag space or you can go for mounts Mounts are a thing too. Oh, combat mounts. Uh, Legacy gear is also is there as well. If you guys want to sit there and save points for those, then they have head costumes. You body costumes too. Few capes. Well, back costumes. Few weapon costumes and you sprite costumes and I think that is it okay now there's sprite books in here that you can trade out for and there are training crackers that are around here as well along with a couple of the benches they are the plus three benches probably the plus fours are in here too nah it just seems like plus threes and they have the standard pills in here as well and obviously there's going to be the currency, normal currency ones too, to where they have their own little premium bags that they've made too, along with some kind of VIP membership thing. Called mounts, uh, utilities, and here goes the separate costumes as well. Uh, this one's a lot deeper of a page. I'm pretty sure this is probably like I don't want to say every costume in the game. I don't think so. Not sure. And then you got the sprite costumes as well. A few of them that I've never seen before. Funny enough. So yeah, it's only sprite costumes. Oh, there's more mounts. A lot more mounts in here. I think that one actually might be most a good chunk of all the uh, mounts in the game. But yeah, uh, back to reading what we we're reading. We normally do this long startup just to get all the details out of the way. Uh, alchemy info, uh, alchemy, well, magic alchemy is not 100% at any round chance are based on the item itself also generate tool oh. okay i was wondering if they added the item to where you can see your chance because i know there's a few servers that have a button to where you can see the chance of getting the item 
Okay, so far it just seems like a normal standard server. So far. Uh, the buffs and... You know, changes of some abilities are going to be different. I've seen quite a few. And that is it other than the whole GM title changes. So, patch ups, right? Is that where I was or was it changes? I guess patch notes. They aren't like very far along, so I can actually like just read off all the patch notes. So this sprite now provides a um, sprite furniture crafting service. Huh. Interesting. Uh, double the XP of guilds. Uh, added a donation pack and donation channel. I guess we can take a look at that. Okay, so these are the donation packages. Oh, you can get your own custom title. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I say these are these are expensive in my wallet. Now I'm good. We'll we'll see how far we get. Oh shit. Oh. Okay, so that was the packages. Uh, ammo has been increased by nine thousand. The price of Sprite sodas and biscuits have been reduced to 1. Their cooldown has been reduced to 0 0.5. Transformation candy can now be used inside of dungeons and the duration lasts for 30 minutes. That's actually pretty neat. Um, all level 1... Level 1 uh, star, earth, moon... Talents can be found at the class master. Ah, here's here's a nice thing. All the level ones no longer require um, reputation for machinists and for drifter. That's that's actually fantastic. Actually, if you were here, if you're interested in you know playing drifter or machinists, because that that was the main thing that threw a lot of people away from it. This is the, how much reputation lock was inside of those. Um, let's see. Not so simple wardrobe effect change. Not so simple wardrobe effect. Okay, that one kind of confuses me. Added a special sprite furniture stone. Added a special table and chair. Removed the whole, uh, the whole code pushing in thing. So if you were just to just walk away from the keyboard, that eh, it was there for you know the whole botting thing, but that's no longer a thing. They took that away, so you don't have to type in a code for extra XP or to get debuffed if you failed it. Uh, Sprites will always naturally now have a hundred percent chance of crafting an item. That makes sense. But these are some awesome. Okay, so that's just a test script. Well, it should be fixed this day if uh, it's been that long. Anyway, let's not dabble too much on the other stuff. Um, Purple Nucleus in the Alchemy giving the whole round. Oh, that's just bug fixes. Okay, we we can just skip over the little bug fixes. Okay, so transformations no longer lose this effect when changing maps. Now the next patch fix. Ew. 
Ooh. Equipment XP sharing is now increased from 10 to 50 percent. Okay, that that's something that I would only do at max level because that's going to be a lot of XP being taken out of that. Um, yellow level 50 and 60 weapons are tradable. Level 60 relics are now tradable. Level 41 orange helmets are now usable at level 40. Uh, mastery changes. Change the damage against mobs, mob types. Plus. Oh, so that's basically like example that Druid has for mastery is that we get increased damage towards torch plant type monsters. So that's now been changed to earn more XP. Interesting. Okay, here we go with a few buffs. Paladin now has strength training goes to plus five instead of plus three. Leaf and light. Ooh, leaf and light now gives plus five to all resist. Blood Tattoo now gives a chance to enter Blood Tattoo state. I don't know what that is because I've never played Berserker. Uh, dungeons drastically increase, increase the drop rate of special sprite furniture stones. Sprite furniture stones. Okay, this is going to be something interesting I want to see. Uh, increase regen of mana when outside of battle. That's great. I like that. Um, for sprites, increase their stamina recovery and increase mana range. I'm sure these are all great. I don't remember what those are. Anyway, remove chat fill text filter. Hmm. Mmm. Okay, I don't I don't know about that one. Alright. Hopefully they have somebody moderating the the <laughs> the chats a lot. Dude, that's that's a crazy thing to do. You know, I would think they would do some adjustments to it. I didn't I wouldn't think that they would just remove it, but you know, okay. Six time yellow weapons failing. Fix mechanics of one requiring. Okay, so you few things being are now. Okay, next one is drop rate increases for uh, sprites. Falling sprites have been increased. Uh, the effect a uh, simple table and simple chair doubled. And along with the special one has been doubled as well. Added level 45, 60, and 70 potions to general stores. Reduced the price of potions from level 5 to 70 by 10 times. So you can buy potions a lot easier. Great. Adjust and change prefixes on gear. Hmm. Okay. So as I went through this, like before I did this video, Cleric is seems like their promised child at this point. A lot of a lot of the servers I've been on just have been reworking the shit out of Cleric from what I've seen. Um anywho. So cleric buffs now last for 30 minutes. <laughs> so the strength buff. And the defense buff now lasts for a whole 30 minutes instead of like, I think it was like 15 or 10. I think it was 15 minutes. So now if you want to play a cleric, cleric and just buff yourselves before you go into dungeons, I mean, you can do that a lot easier now. Avoid carrying food or you just use it with food. That also works too. Uh, superior crafting table. 
furniture. Okay, so they have two new items. Um, arena player requirement reduced from 10 to 6. Okay, so that's to get more cues for battles. Crit ray prefix reverted. Uh, go drop from mobs increased by 100%. Added the stuff to archive and fix. That's pretty much all they've kind of done for patch notes, but I think there's a lot more here. Okay, so went over that. Remove the Master of Fortitude inscriptions. Now blessing. Okay, so they increase the chance of upgrading and won't break the equipment if failed. That's great. I mean, it's better... It's better than what um, the original Grand Fantasia has, and I don't know if they changed it for Origin, but it was mostly that um, there was no way to get any items that increased crafting no not crafting forging your gear getting that plus one plus two stuff like that um that was that was a big little thing that a lot of players struggle with was you know increasing gear because you know it was so expensive and the only way to get that was through like events or like annoying time gated content that most people did not like so I'm wondering, like, where are they going to be putting this stuff to get? Uh, due to this change, the chance of the item to lose durability from preparing 6% to 5%. Okay. Shush. I, I swear to God, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave Violet ready. You you can. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to calm down, buddy. Every time. Anywho, change the database logic to be able to store more valuables. Database logic? That was weird for me. I don't I don't know what that is. Anywho. Change the gold cap. That's an oddly specific number that you put there. But you know, I, I guess it's fine. Unable to sell items to NPCs if player has... Okay, so that's a known issue that was fixed. Add a GM title, change basic game stats and formula. Added Paladin nature for a uh, passive for Paladins. Okay. Sprites are now zoom again, so sprites move faster now. Added passives to each of these classes. Okay, so these are like actual passives. Hold on. Paladin. Oh, here it is. Paladin Nature. Okay. So a little bit of increase. Not too bad. Not too bad. So these are, I guess. This is weird. I don't know what this is, actually. Max 5? Is it like... Every time I level, I get that? Or... Or what? I'm interested to see these now. So, automatically gets more range damage and more movement speed. What about Assassin? Assassin gets more attack power, invasion, and movement speed. Uh, Mage. 
Okay, and a cast speed increase. I'm guessing these are increase. They gotta be. For Necromancer, cast speed increase. Hmm. Wait a minute. What is that looking like for Clarid and Druid? A d damn. Okay. D damn. Clarid got a bit pretty big increase. What about us? Oh. Okay. I guess fuck us, man. We're basically just dabbling a little bit of everything. But our stats will be, like, so low. Sag. Damn. Do I want to play Druid? Oh yeah, this is um, old skill Grand Potato, by the way. This isn't reworked. Glasses. I was about to say, did these guys not get one? Damn, at least you fuckers got three. I heard that I uh, that one's a four, three. Druids aren't the love child, man. Bees that way sometimes. Where, Where's the nature for you? Have you not been added yet? Or am I blind? Okay, I don't think they've done it for Traveler yet. Yeah, Traveler doesn't have a nature passive yet. So, you guys know, probably gonna pick Druid. I am pretty interested to see what this is. Honestly. Uh, we're gonna be recording probably for like an hour or two. For this video. Since there's a lot to go over. Uh, out of VIP stuff, but the and trap. No, what? So it is in there. I just, I'm just fucking blind. Or it just blends in like so fucking well to where I can't tell the difference. If so, yeah, I can't tell the difference. Okay, that's that's well done on blending. <laughs> Or my blind ass, okay. Uh, eh, okay, that was certainly kind of balanced out. What about time traveler? What does time traveler have? Huh? Time traveler have there it is. Okay, so this one has mostly magic damage. Okay, interesting passives, I guess. It's good to see more of these uh servers like actually experimenting and adding like new passives and you know abilities and stuff like that i know uh chronicle no chronicles has been experimenting a lot with uh reincarnation and adding in new reincarnation reincarnation rewards and stuff like that i would say they just got it done adding everybody a new ability now they're, I think they're working on passives. The druid ability is good for mobs, but it's not good for bossing. So it's kind of useless for us druids, unfortunately. Um, mission order. Now it does not consume itself on completing. Okay, so you can just buy the mission order. You can just use it as much as you want, as long as you're at level, I guess. Hold on. Mission orders can now be delivered directly to can now be direct, directly, uh, hold up, that distracted me. Mission order quests can now be delivered directly to the mission board item instead of the hunting board. Okay, so you can just open it again and just complete it, then just re-go through it. I'm gonna need you to fucking calm down, mate. Uh, ch changing all the dungeon order rewards. The status will be updated on my progress change okay so that's been actually completed already okay cool uh dungeon orders 
Good bleeding from Blazing Kazal are now limited to 10 a day. Okay. This is the first that Discord is doing this shit. Usually doesn't do that. But um, let's see. Increase stacking size to Dude, brother, what the fuck is going on here? New. That's... Jesus. We need you to calm down there, Memories. God damn. I say, I guess, new UI things that they did. But, um, we're over here focusing on Prime at the moment. Where was I? God damn it. Am I still at where I was? Oh, yeah. Here it is. Uh, increased stacked size from... Oh, stack side to almost... Damn. That's a lot of items, actually, that can stack up to 99,000. That's that's actually fucking great. I don't see that with too many other of the private servers, actually. That's actually funny. Uh, change the rewards of the one through... Oh, so it's the beginner card, right? Yeah. Your little beginner card here. You're still going to hear the noise, but you're not going to see the messages. So these are the new rewards, huh? Okay, a whole bunch of transport stones, some donuts, some potions, uh, okay, yeah, these are a lot more... Oh, Legacy Gear Selection. Okay, that's actually pretty good for a start off. I like that. I say, this is, this is actually a great quality. Way better than the original. I don't think... Oh, yeah, in Origin, we don't get this card. They changed it with that stupid um fucking purchase purchase bundle that you can get. <sighs> Fuck sakes, it's 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 in everything. Shush. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, uh, the following is probably a bit. Okay. Ah, it does not work on charts. Okay, that makes sense. But everything else, it's a hundred percent chance. That's pretty neat. Uh, change machine is passive. Wait a minute. You can't just tell me you change the machine is passive and don't tell me the fuck it was. Really? That you changed. Where is it? Is this it? Yeah, that's it, right? Isn't this still the same? Pretty sure that's still the same. That's what you're talking about. Hold on. Let me see. Is there another passive? Here's another passive. Okay, it's probably this one. When your target... Target's HP is above 30%. Taking damage... Okay, I guess this is the one. I've actually never really touched much of Machinists. Never been my playstyle at all. So I'm guessing they changed this. I know this because I've always seen people just teleport between enemies and do all that damage. But yeah, not something I've really paid attention to. Kind of wish they would have said was skill that they had changed. Wait, 
Where, where was I? Did I get confused coming back here? Went through that one. Went through that one. Okay, here it is. Ammo cap increase. Okay, we went over that. We went over that. That's been gone over. That's been gone over. That. Uh, service. Okay, I think we're basically caught up now. On pretty much all the details. Yeah, we're basically caught up on everything. Except for this one. This one was today. Now, uh, let's see. Eventual Emblem can now be obtained by slaying the boss inside of uh, Forbidden Temple. Uh, change the chance of Fortune Pouch. Change the orange helmet. Helmets from level 51 to level 50. Added a new item. Messenger's Courage Emblem is it attainable from MO. What was MO again? Also, is this the same thing I'm thinking of? Probably not. No, it's not. Now I'm kind of confused. Definitely kind of confused on that. Uh, let's see. Blue accessories from Town Fame now have their prefixes changed. Uh, PP from the craft. Now cost gold instead of PvP points. Okay. Don't remember this character. Uh, special assistant. Mary now trades PvP points for gold. And the carriage emblem. Okay, we'll be able to go look at that. Trading small island guardian. Okay. This is this is the island stuff. Uh, trading small certificates now gives five times the amount of XP, and it only requires two of them instead of five. No, no, was it five? I think it was five that you needed for certificates, or was it three? Never been on my Sprite Island like way too much. But, um, class changes. Uh, Demolitionist, Nature's, Evasion increase. Malice has been increased on Engineer and Pallies, so they, they can hold more aggro. Fix more felling, craftable weapons. Unable to apply frequencies, okay. So that seems to be about it. I think we are caught up and are ready to actually like play now. That only took like 30 minutes to, to go through. And apparently there's going to be a new update today. Hopefully not right now, because <laughs> I would hate to have to cut this video into two pieces. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, start going through. Oh, I'm going to have to change that. It's always the main thing I always change every time I hit a private server. Okay, so none of the text says that it's a hundred percent chance.
I barely ever see any like as oh god on Facebook oh, boy. But I barely ever see any of the servers actually change most of the text in the game. And I think it's I think currently they have a hundred percent XP going on for the next three days. Hold on. I will show it on Discord if I remember correctly. It's in their events. Yeah, events. Yeah, plus 100% is going on. It's not times. It's not like times 100%. It's literally 100% XP increase. So keep that in mind that I'm not just going to be obliterating levels. Uh, what's she doing? Okay, we're gonna take mining. So now with the other classes currently being focused on other than Druid, um, well for now, I th think I might have to run a different class. Oh my god, you failed? Damn, gathering fell is still like gonna be an annoying thing. Damn it. <laughs> Sag. Anywho. I'll say I'll, I'll I'll take the I'll take the gathering fell. Why not? I mean it's better than um craft felling and just losing all that material that you've worked so hard for. It's actually interesting that a lot of people are learning the older engine for Graft Asia. I can gather more pieces. Nice. So we're going to use this. Get a bag. That bag. Where are we at? Okay, so we need level 5 for the next one. Our book. I've yet to see anybody change... Um, this battle book to where it can be used anywhere. I'm also not using my VTuber today because, uh, well, my VTube model. Just because, um, it's nighttime and I, when I play MMO, sometimes I like to be in the dark. Really just Sets the tone, you know? Sets that good old mood. That night, I just don't want the lights on. It's already hot in my room. I don't need any more heat. So now, from what I... From what we might see in the future, if Origin doesn't work out, and people figure out a way to get the coding for Origin. Somebody might be making an overpowered server. Because if it's if it's truly on an updated engine, more people are going to know how to code that that engine a lot more. Other than just, you know, learning whatever the hell the engine for Gravitasia well, the original Gravitage is. I 
I don't think they've given us quests XP increase. From what we've read, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, so we're already at class change. And oh yeah, reincarnation is a thing because we've already seen a few reincarnation abilities. Like that. Either that or it's just there. It just exists. Now I gotta figure out, do I want to play more bird form in human or do I want to play more wolf in gorilla form? Because I'm not sure how much they're going to change Druid. That's, that's the only issue for me right now. It's trying to figure out like what are they going to do. Eh. Screw it, I'm gonna keep it consistent. I'm gonna I'm just gonna stomach Dru what the fuck? Hello. Okay. I'm just gonna stomach my druid. Even Even though there's a lot of things that need to be changed by Druid. Cause like I said, um Odor Druid uh had a lot of inconsistencies to it. Like, there's a lot of abilities that just didn't work together. I guess, like an example, Sanctuary. Sanctuary is a thing that only goes to the magic side, so... The physical side would be missing out on certain buffs, which really sucks for like anybody who chooses to play the wolf form. Now we don't get that. We don't get an attack speed and a physical damages that yeah, physical damage speed if we're in the wolf form. You know, that only applies to bird and human. There was another. Another one. This is just still unnecessarily long on cooldown. Druids don't really use this too much unless they're playing human or bird form. If you're playing wolf form or gorilla form, that is terrible to pick up. Kind of, like I tell people, Druid is great. Druid is strong, but you have to figure figure it out. And I say it, it's it's a complicated class. This is also fucking useless. Puppet dance. I would say any, like I said to any private server, if you ever want to change a Druid skill that we don't use at all, that is worthless to us, puppet dance. Puppet dance is dog shit. I say there's so many flaws behind it. I've talked about it so much that I, I should probably avoid talking about it again. Because <laughs> if I do, I'm going to go through another rant about it. And we don't need that. No, 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 we don't. We don't need that. Ah, oh, shit. I gotta go back. At least a lot more servers are doing the whole stone of uh, companionship. At least for like starting. So we don't actually need like a mount.
What makes it funny is that um, I figured out quite a lot of people don't play. Well, I was going to say don't play Druid like too far, which is interesting. Even though it's a, it's a class I can pretty much solo a lot of the game. I say that I don't think that's gonna ever change for Druid into like Yeah, I, I guess until the developers figure out something. Druid can pretty much take on any role it feels like it can take on it can take on the tank role, but it's more of an off tank. It can't it can't just Oh, I say it. Druid cannot hold aggro extremely well. But is still good at tanking. Oh shit, duh. Supposed to be grabbing the rest of these skills. Wait. I was about to say. That'd be weird. Okay, I'm slightly spoiled by um Origin. Origin adds like every skill I learn to my hot bar <laughs> somewhere. Cause I do forget to um uh, I do a lot forget to add skills that I learn to my heart bar. I like common sense. <laughs> Anything else? Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to go to the fish people. I have the chair. Ah, oh, okay, so this one actually has stats to it. Okay, yeah, this one doesn't say anything. This one says something, but and this one doesn't say anything. But you get extra training and gathering time is increased. That's actually great. Especially it's gonna be different from just having those stupid pills. The pills are still gonna be useful. Obviously. Let's see how much time it actually cuts off. Let's also use this. Okay, it, it cuts off a little bit. Um, but I will do. Let's go back and craft my stuff. Part of me is slightly thinking about Cleric, just because it seems like Cleric's getting quite a lot of attention at the moment. And and Cleric does have some pretty good tanky gear sets too. That's also another thing. They're gonna have some really tanky gear sets. Yeah, because this this is actually kind of nuts if it's working the way I'm thinking the only thing is I've never touched cleric before so that makes me also curious but the interesting thing is with the malice increase for your tanks you can do a lot more healing as long as your tanks are actually holding aggro a lot better.
Wait a minute. Wait a wait a wait a minute. Wait wait a wait a minute. Hold up. Wait wait a minute. Go back to the cleric. I just thought about something. They didn't specify a certain thing of like what skills last for those 30 minutes. Because if this is exactly what I think it is, Claire's bus lasts for 30 minutes. Wait a minute. That's 20. Oh, hold on. Okay, so that doesn't tell me. Jack shit. That doesn't tell me jack shit other than there. Okay, so I'm thinking it is endorse strength, armor. It makes me curious. Because if it's working the way I'm thinking. That is interesting. And Drew and Cleric will be probably the most strongest buffer in the damn game. But I'm pretty sure it's not working the way I'm thinking. Because if everything gets... If all of their buffs are literally buffed, Cleric will be insane and needed. But somebody still say 15, but like I said, most developers for like these private servers don't actually like change too much of the information that's displayed from skills. They'll tell you that something changed, but they also won't display it. Oh yeah, that's also something else that Druid suffers from. Uh, these stats increase because Druid also gets this. And it only goes into the magic side as well. So you lose out on like physical things. The only thing you get that benefits you is will and vitality for the physical side. There's just a lot of things with Druid you have to kind of cope with. Sorry, I got sidetracked again. I had to make sure because That, that makes me so curious. To the point where I, do I really want to go test it out? Am I? Huh. But at the same time, I don't want to waste time on it, though. Because why waste time leveling up this character then it's kind of like, damn, I gotta go make a druid again. It's just because the cleric debated me with some tempting info. That's kind of why I, I tell people, kind of give me an example of everything you changed. Because that translation of what you just said could probably mean something else of what we're thinking and disappoint the shit out of us when it's not actually what we're thinking. <laughs> Okay. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys. So before I even hit like level 31, because I'm probably not going to do it in this video. Probably. We'll see.
I asked Sprite help her still away. Okay. They don't have Sprite protection on the server. Funny enough. But no, Sprite protection is earned through something different. If I remember correctly. You have to like talk to some type of a uh, NPC. But they removed that like so long ago because it was kind of janky. And the little sprite protection thing was basically made for going AFK and having the game auto. That that's been gone like for for years, and I don't see that coming back, which absolutely makes sense. Actually, if I say, yeah, the mana regen in battle, I'd say that's probably going to be canceling that out. Okay, so they haven't changed uh, the Grand Fantasia book. Let me go ahead and hit these guys, get that chest from them. Oh, there it is. Uh, Soak Book. It's only funny because Soak Book is also still inside of a... Origin. And not too many people know about it because it is like... Kind of like a little sneaky thing. See. Okay, I get donuts head. Well, ten. So you won't be all grumpy and shit. Wait. So, hold on. Training and crap. Training and gather. That's actually so fucking good. Especially to keep your sprite up to date a lot easier. That's actually a very clever, clever way of doing that. You definitely get a lot of praise from me over that. Damn, I'm already at two gold just by just being here. So the gold drop rate. Well, the coin. Yeah, the gold drop. That should be decent. Was it, no, it only gave me like 16 copper. So maybe I'm kind of overthinking that. I could be overthinking that. Most of the time I am overthinking that. It's probably from a quest that I haven't been paying attention to. <laughs> but like I've said before, um, sprites are the major progress holders in the game. Like, I can tell you this. If you are level 40 currently and you have that level 35 sprite that you got from what is it? That you got from Condemned Minds inside of Origin. Motherfucker, max that shit out to, to 50 right now. Like, as you're going through this update, and them just slowly releasing, like, probably 10 levels every few, like, major updates. So, it's probably going to be level 50 cap next. Make sure to keep your sprite up to date. Now, you probably won't have a chance to get, like, prepared past level 50, that's for sure. But still.
Try and get that sprite up to maximum 50. Because I know people who have been new to Grand Fantasia. I've been asking a few questions and... You know... Uh, the fuck was that? Uh, I thought it was a, the boss up there who was chasing me or something. But yeah, make sure to... What, basically, once you're level 40, farm your fame, farm your sprites. Yeah, that's that's the best thing I can tell you. Farm your, farm your fame and reputation and sprites to get prepared for the next level cap. Normally, you want all your fame to be at least what would it? What was it? The maximum I've seen is like probably twenty eight k. It's a chore, like hell, but kind of needed. So, like I said, as they're slowly building all of this up, that's probably the most thing I can recommend for you to do. There goes my revive, which I probably won't be doing because I can just solo everything as a druid, just saying. <laughs> okay, so take me to Kaz because that seems to have the most always have the most updated NPCs. No matter what, um... Okay. Uh, what's this? You know, get that off my screen. Okay. No matter what, uh, Kazlo is definitely the main place you would go to for all these private servers, just because they always put put the new NPCs that they create there, since Kazlo is the main city out of all the three cities. Some private servers actually move some some NPCs between all three cities, but most of them keep it towards Kaz. Is that a sprite? Yeah, it is, brother. It is definitely not for me, is it? Yep, it's for Archer. Get that shit out of here. Oh damn, you guys didn't die. Excuse me. The fuck you guys been drinking to survive that? Oh look, shoes. Ow. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't even realize that sprites even dropped those. Have they changed any of these? New still seems to be the same. I'm trying to think to myself, do I want to grab a um, app ah, sneeze? Oh yeah, I can just go in here and grab legacy gear while I'm at it. I mean, I am just sitting here leveling, and if I do decide to pick cleric, it will it'll help. Oh, whoops! It'll help in uh, going back. Oh, uh, God. That thing. Going back and making a druid again. If I pick cleric. I am supposed to be talking to you. Know. 
It's kind of funny that the private servers have a better free to play free to play model than Origin. It's like so many so many companies forget, dude. As long as the players are having fun, that's a great chance of them actually spending money. Versus, hey, here, I throw this, makes your life easier. It's just like, okay, now I'm not having fun then. And purchasing that is the very, is the very sign of starting to not have fun. A lot of people don't think about that anymore. Like, as soon as you're ready to purchase something, that means you're no longer having fun with the game. That's at least how I see it. I mean, it makes sense, right? Makes me think, do I want to um, do the quills? Maybe. I mean, it is times two fame, so maybe I want to do the quills. Let's go see how much we get. How do we, we finish these guys off? Oh, I think that's the priest one, right? Okay, now that's the stupid key. Uh, is this the priest one? Nope, that's Katana. Don't care about that one. And I bring the stuff back to you. Guess I would take mana, honestly. Because the priest classes are like very mana hungry. Oh, the leap. Gotta kill that rare monster for that rare material, bruh. Healing, uh, no, that is useless. Never carry that. Okay, we're gonna level up at least. And be able to get our next items. Uh, I need to keep Keep on uh, grabbing all this. I'm probably going to need stamina cookies less. Since the whole stamina increase for them in the server. Okay, let's see how much we get. Okay, we still get 100 quills. So it doesn't really increase on knees, but I guess there's still a tiny bit of XP out of it. I mean, that's the only reason you would want to do it. It's just for the tiny bit of XP. Okay, so they don't have the detail stuff either. To where I can see what Enemies dropping what? Which kind of sedge. At least you guys are kind of seeing the level up speed that's going on here. There's a board. That should be the last thing for, uh, for that book. So what's next? So we get our sunbird mount and we get a hundred of the medium potions. If they're able to change the rewards inside of these beginner cards, 
something. Hopefully they do the idea I've been trying to pitch to X Legend is creating a what is it intermediate card instead of them choosing the the shitty as a uh, purchase patch level up purchase pack. Is that it? No, that's Warrior. Damn it. I'm getting everything but anything I need. Like always. Never ceases to fail. I'm mostly curious to see how they change dungeons. The whole dungeon uh, mission order. Here's what rewards are in there. Are they going to make it exactly kind of like a um, Violet? I mean, already they're kind of diversing from Violet, but they still have like a few things that Violet does. The only reason I'm comparing it to Violet is because that's the only places I've seen the things that they're doing. Uh, there's also another thing I tell people. If you're going to be trying to solo everything inside of Gravitation, make sure to have a lot of patience. Because a lot of things are going to halt your progress. Just something you're going to have to think about. I say there's no need to, like, Rush, take your time. If you have something you want to equip and you have to farm fame for it, go do it. I say don't give yourself too much of a headache over a lot of things in the game. I'm telling you it's not worth it. It's more of a headache. Um, The worst thing is that fame, I'm pretty sure a lot of new players are going to ask this. But fame does not go across account wise. It only stays on one character. So if you make a new character, you're going to have to do all that shit over again. Welcome to Gravitation. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same thing for Origin because they really love the reputation system. <laughs> Most of us do not. It bees like that sometimes. Are you at 20 yet? No, you're not. I could have trained it. That, that probably would have been smarter. Yeah, we can sell that book again. Since, yeah, we're done with it.
Are you done? Okay, we're just gonna have you train that last one. I say, and plus we get, we get a guarantee plus twenty. That, that's that's actually a lot. And if it's actually calculating through um, what should we call it? Uh, if it's actually calculating through the simple table and chair correctly for using like the intents and training crackers then that's probably well not even probably that's going to be so much better how much is that going to give should be a lot not, well not if you keep failing you little douche also, another tip, if your sprite is in orange and you give them a little potion, they go to this. They light it. They light it. They light it. Whatever. But yeah, this gives way more XP just by doing anything. So if you're trying to raise your sprite, the best thing to do is always have them in the red. I need you to take me to the deserted island so I can do the last quest on here. Grab this, grab this. Okay, it's at 15. Oh god, a little mini hiccup. My soul. I will say this, Griffith, um, Origin did fix quite a bit of a uh, few quests. Like, for some reason, pushing these wouldn't take you to the destination where you want to go. You would have to go in here. And just go to the certain point. Uh, this quest has been fixed since out of origin. So they are trying to go through and probably try and fix a lot of the quests that are currently going on. I think that's mainly why they did the whole level 30, level 40 camp. And they're just letting us play the progress that they have. That's my guess. Oh, wow. They, they drop. Um, they drop lost powers a lot more often. I didn't actually realize that. It'd be great if I had a. If I had a second sprite for that. Oops, wrong. Wrong thing. I would say the worst thing about, like, summon classes... Like, some... Some bosses are immune to certain debuffs. You don't get told what debuffs that they are immune to. But all bosses are immune to anything that immobilizes. I want that to be remembered. Anything and everything that, immobil that immobilizes, a boss is immune to. It's out of Gravitasia. And it's the same thing for Origin. They haven't changed that at all. We have all these stunning tools that we can use on mobs, but we don't have any stunning for bosses because you gotta imagine going in as a tin man and being able to just completely hinder the whole boss sucks but at the same time i believe there is um what was it i believe you can still slow them so that's one thing you can do 
that's pretty much it and i don't think they've fixed the whole issue of quest tracking that's why we still have the whole transport stone inside of a um, origin to where if you're not in the same instance your character won't walk to that npc so let's say yeah this Elwyn can't can't be found in this scene. So you literally have to go to Kazla or find him. Or sometimes the quests will tell you, but sometimes the quests like info is vague or can be vague. Which does which does suck at times. So hopefully you new players in the origin don't have to deal with that. That is something I actually like experimented on. There's, a, there's quite a few things I haven't been able to experiment with. And see if they work inside of a origin. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, I could use this now. That'll be a lot faster. Ah, don't fail, you little douche. I want to see how fast is this really. Still at 79. Okay, and now it's at 85. Okay, you can tell that it's been increased by quite a bit. Mm. Hmm. I want to say it's like it increases by like every minute. You're not here, right? Okay, no, you are here. Normally forget about this book so many times. You guys know the drill. We normally keep going until we complete the first dungeon, which is Perry Cave. So that's kind of where we're headed right now. So let's see. Do you have anything? Okay, so all these are still normal. There's the scientific one. Okay, so those are still the same. Okay, so walls have a decoration walls haven't been giving any buffs <laughs> that's something that i've been curious to see if anybody would actually do okay so that's 20 now um Bring up his mood. Uh, with stamina. And go search for some dry patches. So the thing with Owen is that he is in um, Kaslo, so once you even come out of Blue Bay, you have to walk all the way to here. I really don't like how this how this quest line is set up because you have the player being 
coming out of Blue Bay and confused of where this quest line is. Only to have to walk through here because you know players don't like to read. Players do not like to read. They're just like, oh, push button, go. <laughs> Which isn't a terrible thing, you know, because people like to just have that button and have an auto tracking. Or just automatically going to that quest. Oh, there's a VIP. Wait, is he reincarnated? Okay, no, he's not reincarnated. I was just trying to see if there was reincarnated people here. Now level 70, 80, 50. I mean, server info didn't say anything about a level cap currently. So I'm guessing it is up to reincarnation. Or level 100. I have yet to see a level 100, yo. Yeah, why did I come down here? Got sidetracked. Oh, let's go talk to this. Uh, and also keep an eye out for NPCs that have been talked about. Have you been changed? No, you still seem insane at the moment. So I can get your quest. Sprite Ambassador. Free stuff, yeah. And now we come over here and get our cards. So this is actually pretty neat that you can just come in here and get all of your basic talent cards. So if I'm missing one, I can just come in here and grab, grab one. I am missing, not that one, this one, I believe. Then they kind of leave it up to yourself to go farm the rest of them. And here's where we can just come in here and grab sprites too. Um, honestly, right now I would grab since I already have legacy gear, I would grab the hammer and staff. I don't see a staff. I see hammer. I mean, just having hammer is fine, too. Yeah, I don't see a single staff. Probably up here, if anything. Mid-20s. Yep. This okay, game is going to be level 21 for those. And now that I have an actual sprite, that can grab my gear. The main thing I would want to do next. Yeah, so not another person reincarnated yet. Now what I would want to do next is come over here. Was it you? No, it was you. Come over here and buy this, this, and this. Since those are a hundred percent items. These are the essentials. Essentials, you know. 
Essentials? Something like that. Just put that on my head. Second anniversary. Grab these quests because those are for uh Kaz planes. Oh yeah, I was gonna look at the furniture. Because th they said this sprite has been updated with furniture graphic. Okay, so you can increase these down the road. Oh okay, that's that's actually neat. You can <laughs> That's cool as shit. The stuff you are farming can increase this this item. You could trade it in for a higher tier one. That's 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 a smart idea. That's actually a genius idea. But you can only get the upgraded version of it after beating um Echo Cave. Here is the issue, though. Is this archivable, though? If it's archivable, that's going to be great for multiple characters. If it's not, that's going to suck. Here's a simple. Yes, it's archivable. Okay. That's actually great if you actually make a second character and want to actually, like, farm up their stuff again. And get that going. Instead of using, like I said, the shitty pill crap that nobody enjoys doing. Or having to buy constantly over and over again. That's actually very, very neat. And I love that. So it makes me wonder, are they going to do the same thing for, um, for the other ones? Well, for this. For this to give additional materials and, you know, kind of go up by like two, then the next one will be three. Or are they going to have a, another one that's going to be like red for this one and be like a 100% chance of success and, you know, have this one like, which one did this jump one up? Yeah, this would be like, the next one would be like 50 Who, who knows what they could actually do? That's... I like that idea. That's clever. That's very, very, very clever. Dude, it's crazy how much ideas that the community has that are... The x Legend just don't look at it and just be like, Ooh, we should do that. Just take that little idea and just be like, Ooh, you know what? That was ours. What you you're saying we're copying? You're damn right we're copying. Where that shit with pride, you know? Okay, auction house is pretty empty. They do only have one channel, and that one channel is orange. Orange or yellow, whichever color that is supposed to be. Yeah, I figured, I figured the only things I'll be selling is, like, costumes and stuff. You know what? For, for 14 days, I'll take that. Why not? Trial costumes are are never popular. I can definitely tell you that. People always just try to try and sell them for certain prices, though. Like psychopaths, knowing good damn well that you can see how long until it expires. Or how long it... Well, you can see that it's not a permanent costume. And people will still try to sell it for high price. 
Which initially makes no sense. But there are some people who don't read and still try and buy it. So, you know, they get the occasional rare sucker who just buys and just like, oh, I always wanted this costume. Put that in now. I wish I would have bet they have an archive item. That's normally how it goes. They always have an archive item that, uh, boosts by a lot of points. I haven't looked into Nucleus yet, so let's see. Nucleus. Oh, Nucleus are not level locked, okay. Most servers I've seen that have been level locking those. This is not a it's not a bad thing. Oh god. Okay, so they do have the one by one BS of putting this of putting in uh fame since this is the older version of Grand Fantasia. But let's see how much we actually get. So hold up, where's my calculator? Already I can tell it's a lot more fame than you usually get for the normal lost powers. Ah damn. I didn't get the chance to read it. Oh no, control. Control 2 is not working. No, control any number is not working. Unfortunately. Uh, let me... Take out some of these guys. Damn it. Not who I was trying to attack. Okay, so now all of a sudden you don't want to drop stuff, man. Come on, man. I just need like a few more. Oh, why am I hitting those? Those are gimmick monsters that don't drop XP or anything. Ugh. Now you guys are gonna be a complete douche. Okay, dude. Alright, fuck it. I was about to say, I was trying to see some shit, but now it's just like, no. No. No, you will not. We were not dropping any more for you. Even though I had like a random stroke of luck the first time that they dropped. I was just telling me to literally go fuck myself. Like, you know, I'll take that advice and should just do that. Uh, let's go do this quest. Ah, oh, rare monster.
Okay, so we have that quest done. Okay, now we're not now we're not just getting any drops for it at all. As for you, I need you to keep going out and filling that up. Sure, why not? It, it helps me one shot, so I'll just take the transformation. I'm not going to transform him back. Just going to naturally let it run out, or at least until I get on to him out. Ah, there's one. Now I got 12. Now I can go see the difference. Since it doesn't show like how much it gives there now. Fame. Oh, what? On our way. Add 10. Okay, so it gives 312. That's actually not too bad, to be honest. That's actually not bad at all. So now I'm going to keep that in mind for when we actually go into the dungeon because there's reputation items for those too. Wait, where am I going? My special self was trying to do this quest and I, I totally sidetracked. Yeah, that's also another way to increase uh, fame for certain areas, too. And that simple table actually makes that a lot easier as well. But you can actually finish those missions a lot easier. We're almost level 15 now. If we do our uh, class change. Ah, you little shit. Getting sick of you and your fells, brother. Go do your job. Ah, no, I transferred back. Sag. Ah, oh, wrong. Wrong coyotes. My bad. Don't care for that. Don't care for that. That can all get out of my face. Oh yeah. You gotta go do this. I'll actually use a stone for this. Useless stone. Excuse me? Wait. Oh! 
Those stones are useless. You can actually just teleport to anything you want on this server. My dumbass has been doing it the hard way. Hmm. Hmm. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> okay, cool. That makes things a lot easier. Okay. It's only funny because, um, whoops. Every other server. Wait, has this been changed? Please tell me this has been changed and I get all of them and not just one. No, I'm still choosing. Fuck. Um, HP. But every other server either turns it down to one or leave it at default to where it consumes two. I never got understood why it was at two in the first place. Why the hell are you consuming two stones? Never made sense to me. It just made more immersion and logical sense if it just consumed one. Damn, that just... <laughs> I could have been doing that this whole time. Damn, dude. I should be ashamed of myself. I should be embarrassed. Get out of my face. There's probably some other NPCs that I haven't seen in Kaz. It's just gonna be trying to figure out where they are. So automatically, I need to start graphing. my next hammer because the hammer is going to get out class very quickly but I can also open my next tier of card now I have better potions I can use Wait, where is another one? There you are. Oops. Okay, the quest for greed. Um... Let's look around a little bit more in Kaz, because that's normally where all the new NPCs are. Okay, so PvP. Those are still the same. Those are still the same. The NPC is still the same. Okay, yeah, it's it still requires actual PP points. Uh, what about you? Have we still submit crystals? Same old, same old. Yeah, I have yet to see anybody reincarnated. So maybe it's not. Yeah, in this game. Oh no, it's here. Because he's here. If he's there, then yeah, reincarnation still it. Yeah. 
Okay, these are basically still the same. Let's say they do have new NPCs. They are going to be a lot more difficult to find. I normally like it when a lot of these private servers have like some indication that this is a new NPC above their heads. Just makes it so much more useful. Defining said item, said items, or any NPCs that's been like modified. Ah, this fucker. Okay, so this game has this character. I've been looking for this character for so long inside of like <laughs> the actual official server. This character does not exist in the official server. So I think that quest has been taken out, but for some reason still has like leftover coding. But so, for or either that or there's some kind of like requirement you have to hit to be able to to see her. I don't know. That's my first time I've ever seen that character, and I actually remember what quest it is. Because I've been to that spot so many times and never seen her. I actually have a reason I can just teleport to everything I need and not have to wait too much. Or rely on a instance. God damn it. I always click the wrong things. Uh, we can hide the greed quest. We'll take that as well. Mysterious Island. That's how we unlocked our actual like island. Appreciate you. Uh, let's go do the Mysterious Island quest. Stop showing time events. Hey, you're in a um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now we talk to you. People don't actually know how tedious that quest is without teleporting stones, that's for sure. Whoa, stop that. There's like some gimmick for this. I don't remember what it is. Hey, 
And there's the achievement for that. As I, I still remember some of the achievements for this game. Not all of them, but most of them. Okay, so I can now make this one soon. Uh, are we able to go into parry yet? Yes, we are. Okay, so we have, we're able to do our first dungeon. I am just going to grab the quests for them. I'm not going to do them like right away. Because we're going to try and finish out a... Um... Kaz. Kaz Flames. The Flames. But yeah, this... The server is still in early stages, obviously. So, I'm not gonna criticize it since, especially since the developer of it just came back. held on to these just for this moment. Get rid of it. And get rid of this shit. Because that's not going to be useful for anything. That's not going to be useful for anything. How about this? Oh, nice. Forgot about those. So many rewards to flood in my bag. Are you failed, you little shit? I, I guess you brought back something, so I, that's fine. That's 10. I can replace those with the 4. And throw that out. I did grab everything, right? Okay, yeah. I could turn this off. And go finish the rest of the quest. Okay, so I'm probably going to go... I was going to say one-handed hammers. But then again, I got to remember that I am. You know what? I'm going to make it weird this time. We're probably going to go cleric. We're probably going to go cleric and change it up. Just because it's going to be funny and unnatural for you guys to see me play anything else. <laughs> I'm just curious about the whole... 30 minute buffs and I wonder if it goes for everything. I doubt it considering nobody else is playing it. I think it's just for like three different buffs. Uh, plus like I said Jura does I mean Cleric does have some pretty tanky outfits. But part of me is just like, no, dude, go Druid. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, my bad. I kind of sidetracked a little bit. Um, So now I need you to, to. Yeah, that's only for pallies. I've yet to see a single server do the whole double yellow 
a double orange. Allow players to, you know, use more than just one unique weapon. Then again, wouldn't that be quite busted? <laughs> Especially with how some of the weapons are. So it makes sense. But if you're going for like a let players be busted and have fun, that makes sense. I mean, it does feel great that I don't have to be stressed out if I'm going to be able to craft a weapon or not. Oh yeah, I just need one more level. So it's, it's pretty neat to get those, get a get a new taste of quality of life from a different server. Because you wouldn't actually like think about some of the things that they're doing versus like a lot of the other unique servers. They've already just automatically set themselves apart from every other server with just a few things that they're currently doing now. Craft that. I gotta think about it. If I do play Cleric, I'm still gonna be in the situation to where if I want to be shield and hammer cleric or or do I want to be staff cleric I kind of want to try shield and hammer cleric kind of play like a a hilly paladin oh, if I actually enjoy the server enough I will make a druid on it I just know I'm going to regret this decision. Trying something. Trying a new class. I mean, not only that. Druid already gets hoed by half of like Paladin. Because Druid gets hoed because it is most, all their weapons are mostly aimed towards Paladin. Or Cleric. We barely have any items that are unique to ourselves. Other than like the high level weapons, actually. That'd be the only weapons to actually aim towards us. So now I kind of want to shield sprite. And I think they made that as accessible. Hopefully. Through the level 21. I mean, there should be one in there. Just because of Pally. 
I say that's also another thing I love about private servers that you're able to experience new builds a lot easier. Without being like stressed the hell out. I'm trying like too hard to get the materials. And plus private servers are mostly just, you know, a way for people to avoid too much time sync. Like, we love an MMO, but some people don't have, like, the time for MMOs, but still love the hell out of MMOs. So finding any way to of an MMO that can respect your time is great to see. And some people like difficulty. Some people don't. Some people like to solo dungeons. Some people like to party up just really depends on like what you want to make your server under do you want to make your server under like challenging but players are still able to solo it or if you guys want to make your server kind of like challenging to the point where you need a party because you gotta remember amongst the mmo there's always going to be people who are total introverts and don't want to talk to people but really just want to enjoy an MMO they, they can solo. So you kind of got to think about your solo players because you know, they exist. Some of them do spend money. Some of them don't. It just really depends on like how you want to really build your community. I'd say always build it around solos and and co-op. It just makes sense to do both. Because believe it or not, if people could play a single player Grand Fantasia and not have to think about like, you know, not have to think about like other people, they would. Which is kind of surprising that nobody's made a single player Grand Fantasia. That's that's actually that actually is quite puzzling that that hasn't been done yet. Because I feel like it 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 could be possible, but people just enjoy the company of others, you know. Having a world that looks alive with other players running around, seeing their cool stuff and gear, but also trying to grind up to it. So I'm just saying, dude, if, if there was a solo Grand Potato, people people would go for it. They would probably swarm the shit out of that. Especially like excuse me. Especially like grinding. Like you put everything into like NPCs for gold and stuff like that. Little grinding events that show up randomly, like world bosses and stuff. With none of that, uh. With none of the. What should I say? Anti cheat blocking, too, for those who, I guess, really are impatient. I mean, it is their own Grand Fantasia, you know. They're they're soloing in it. That would be cool. But the time and effort for somebody to actually do that would be interesting. Like made make like little settings that people can adjust and stuff like that and edit. I was like, you know how fucking neat that would be? Damn it, I need a I need a oh, I thought I crapped that. But did you run out of stamina? I like you ran out of stamina. Oh yeah, you probably did. If you're still that low.
Like, if people want to be able to set their XP gain to, like, extremely high, you know? Just be... Oh, no. Don't, don't do that. Here to fight this thing. If you want to be able to let bosses be stunned or acceptable to certain certain effects, they can, you know, just change the world how they feel, you know, like just give them a private server with a whole bunch of stuff they can actually edit and make their own. I say like, because at that point you would just be mostly focusing on the the adjuster, other than you know the actual gameplay itself. This two-hander is going to be, like, great until I can get my shield. And instead of, like, you know, logging in, they can just have, like, a little save file, stuff like that. There's so much shit you can actually do with, like, a single-player reputation. Oh, damn, dude. Fucking six slots, too? This is 20, right? Yeah, this is 20. And Malice lower. Uh, let's go ahead and try and max this out through training. We'll just go over here. Oh god, it's getting time for me to almost get start getting ready for work, so pretty soon I will have to, to start the dungeon. <laughs> yeah, I normally go to sleep around this time for uh for getting ready for work tonight. It, you know, it's it's actually rare that anybody would make it this far into this video. So if you made it this far into this video, comment bagels. That's all I want to see is a comment of bagels. I want to see how many people actually made it this far and are actually paying attention. <laughs> I doubt anybody is because most of the time I'm just like probably background music for you guys. That's normally what I would think gravitation is. I don't think anybody actually pays attention to it. That'd be that'd be weird. You'll probably be one of the weird ones. <laughs> okay, so now I can rid of these. And turn these off. Teleport pistol? My brother in Christ. <laughs> well, I found a good uh a good chilling spot. Um I'm surprised nobody's up here, AFK. It seems like a cool ass spot to go AFK in. Yeah. 
Novice Sprite, okay. I feel like I'm gonna break something doing this, but you know, it's kind of like, fuck it. I'm interested to see what I can break. Just because it would help to know what is broken. Hmm. Yeah, these only go to red armor. If I actually weirdly wanted to make those, I would have to get the gas for it. The gas or shard one. No, I think it is the gas one, isn't it? Okay, my bad. I, I kind of got sidetracked. Just, just sidetracked. Just a little bit. The hell did I just pick? How is this? Oh, the wilderness. This is a cheap way to get there. If you're level 90 and I've done that quest, never mind. <laughs> I lied to you. Why'd you let me lie to you like that? That's crazy. It's crazy that you would just let me lie to you like that. Call me out next time. Anyway, okay, we got the mission board. Uh, we could just straight up buy this. And... Yeah, okay, it still has the same rule of repeatable quests at the bottom. Only repeatable under... No, yeah, under level 30. I was like, killing who, motherfucker? I don't need that. Okay, uh, we're gonna activate that. We also have a region that I stopped paying attention to. Okay, so you're almost done. You can be with me just just until then. Okay, so this this version of Grand Potato does does not have a well this private server does not have the blessing i say i just paid attention to that no longer being spoiled with blessing you're actually like doing the dungeon Almost level 20, and I can use a better hammer with more damage. Not only that, I can get a uh, damage reduction.
Oops, done. Have them go back, give us a little bit of time. Set that, put this on. And now we should be good. Okay, so there is also the fact that I haven't put all my cards too. We'd be putting on magic and we would be putting on defense. Since, like I said before, half of the game at the start of Grand Fantasia is physical defense. This is all physical attacks. Around mid game to late game is where you start seeing a little bit more magic. It's only far late game is where you started seeing a whole bunch of it. I do have a defense buff, I just realized. We'll uh, defend that. Man, this is going to be a while. I forgot about this. Uh, oh, shit. I need to make sure to use this. Because that would suck if I didn't. Wait. It only gives this now? It doesn't give anything else? That's all it gives? Damn. Damn, dude. The fuck? That sucks. Ah, you little shit. I'm happy these have been increased. Because waiting on those on cooldown has always been very annoying. Now you actually have a reason to go in there and buy those. Kind of want to see how my gear and healing holds up over here. Because I have to keep that stun going or it's going to be terrible. Something tells me the boss is going to be having a field day with me. Okay, so now I'm going to have to add a little bit of healing into my arsenal. Because it turns out, yeah. Yeah. I cannot tank it. Not with the gear I currently have, but, you know, it'll get there. Because I am using Legacy Gear for the XP. Legacy Gear is decent. Considering it's like living armor, but it just doesn't have like the bonus set abilities. 
that the special gear has, what a craftable gear has. Now, part of me wants to do something right quick. Where is it? Where's Class Master? There he is. I'm not. Oh, it. Okay, so this server still has that bug to where eggs can get aggroed onto you and prevent you from teleporting. Oops. Well, right, we're going to go back to the dungeon. We just need to take a little bit of a detour. Hey, you're almost maxed out. Go again. Let's see. Shield. Shield. There's sword. One tells me shield won't be here, but I have my doubts. Ah, there it is. And now I would want to buy that hammer. I have to get that quest. Um, Sprite Whisper. Yeah, there we go. We can get the free potions. Uh, I would personally take the defense here. Grab that. This, there. Now we have a lot more defense. The only reason I came out here is because uh, that's because the boss in there, well, bosses in there are going to be start becoming an issue if I don't uh, go grab this stuff. And now what I want to do, since that sprite is done, I want to release it and get some um, sprite messenger points. I'm going to take these off because it won't let me get rid of it unless I do that. Got your dude and I got little legs. Now, you know what you can do? Go back to being the servant. <laughs> Now you got to get all the way up to level 50. That is right. Level 50, right? Yeah, Max is level 50. Anyway. Uh, release back to nature. You. Goodbye.
I got 400 for that. Okay. Um, let's use. Wait, am I blind? I actually, might be blind. Oh, there they are. I'm actually blind. We don't talk about it. Okay, so now we need to go back to the cave. And back in we go. So, for shield, let's see, can we make a shield right now? We should be able to. Damn, we're not able to make... I mean, we're able to make it, but we're not able to use it until, like, level 24. Which sucks for us. Oh, no, no, we're actually able to use it. I forgot it kind of reverses itself. So we can make this level 18 one that reflects 100% chance, 100% magic. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to have you go out and forge. Which ones do we need, actually? Okay, so we need you to find lilies. Damn, I actually should have went back and bought two more of those. Well, three more. No, one more of these, each of these. Because I actually would have helped. What, that hit two? Oh, there were two right there. Okay, so now what I will do is... started on the shield and now I could put this on clerics actually can be like very very tanky depending on like what you focus on But they aren't the most damage heavy. I will say that. So it's mainly just about like a long game of sustain. Okay, so now make my shield. I still do wish we could archive orange stuff. I 
Oh, I can ex oh, I can exchange these. I totally forgot about that. Has that always been a thing? Or do, do I just not read? Probably I just don't read. It's been a while. Wait, is that... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Int plus 1%? God damn, bro. So that's what they meant about the new... Um, preverbs. Is that now we can have percentage on our weapons and stuff. That's actually pretty damn dope. Not gonna lie to you. Hey, come here. So now I take a lot less damage. It's gonna take me a while. Plus I can block too. I'm gonna tell you guys this, this is probably gonna be. I don't know if I actually want to just like go through all of it because I don't want to be like super exhausted for work. So I think this might be two parts that I fuse together and finish. So you guys probably might have a three hour video because Prayer Cave is pretty decently long. Yep, still in this private server. Bosses aren't success, aren't uh, affected by knockback or stuns. Not even days. Okay, I, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, Sprite Helper is now out of those, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down to sixty. We'll use a lot less of that. Oh, reincarnation potion skill. I didn't realize that was a reincarnation potion. Hey, I have clay. Yeah, I still get XP for that. Um, there we go. Ah, oh, and an investigation book? Fuck yeah, I'll take it. Wait, should not grab that item? Oh, it got stuck, didn't it? Thank God I realized that. That would have sucked. So I'm going to let you do that one. But on the bright side, for a lot of people, that it seems like you're still going to be. Well, you're still going to get another Grand Potato that is pretty similar to Violet. But less of an asshole to you. <laughs> ah, you failure. I kind of wanted the XP for that. And you failed me. You let me down. Gotta be careful on this. 
Wish I would have been able to start this up like way sooner. Oh, yeah, I can do level 20 now. Oh. And a 72 day blessing that I'm not going to use. Wait, why do we have transport stones if they're useless? I just realized that. I guess they're just useless at the moment. You know, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a part two on this. You guys won't see this video like immediately today, but um. You'll you'll probably see it tomorrow. I mean, after work, I could just come over here, record this, and just go straight to bed. But yeah, with well, that said, hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> see you guys at the end of part two, where we conquer Perry Cave. All right, welcome back. Um, so which ones did we do? We did the spider one. Now we gotta go over here and do these. I say at least that one's done. Do I? Okay, I was about to say, do I have any XPs? I'm sorry, I gotta I gotta think of a good conversation now. Now that I'm back and not in like <laughs> content creator mode. Alright, so Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot. The um, shortcuts for this top bar right here are not working or either not bind so let me go ahead and check that no they're they're binded they're just not working huh weird but anyway i was uh playing a little bit more uh a little bit more of origin and dear God, the quality of lives are great. I would say they finally fixed the whole quest thing. I, I think I talked about that earlier this video. Inside of the private servers, you this is the old version to where if you were to push this, it wouldn't take you to whatever boss you were trying to go to. Not boss. Um, whatever NPC you're trying to talk to. Like, inside of Origin, you click that and it automatically travels to to wherever you're going. And I was just sitting here like, dude, that's actually so freaking good. Because that was, that was one of the bigger issues. It was like, relying so much on teleporting instead of mounts I'm actually happy that's one of the things they fixed that would definitely help out a lot of players towards like going to different places that does make life a little bit easier for players though considering the fact they could just push this question mark and just automatically go to where they need to go but then again I guess the only other thing that will confuse players is like a quest line. And I'm going to tell you guys this, if you're watching from um, from the standpoint of playing 
origin and this or or prophet server in general just do whatever quests that you're around that level like going through a straight line is kind of impossible <laughs> considering that you're gonna go to a limit and have to jump between places because all areas are going to end up in one location and that's pretty much here then going through here going through all these so you're always going to end up in one location just do whatever level you know you're at or you can do every last quest because every last quest have different rewards that's that's the best thing I say that would be the only reason you would go and do the other areas is just for the rewards. For Origin itself, I don't think the rewards are worth doing. But if you want reputation, you can go and do those areas and get the reputation for all those quests. That also works too. I say the main thing you should be doing after reaching level 40 is reputation farming farm reputation and level up your sprites i think i talked about that earlier as i gotta remember everything i've talked about um i hate that my control keys aren't working actually kind of annoying ah you and your little mood what you out here so I can get my bonus I've actually been enjoying Origin a lot more with the Ninja class. Ninja class is like so versatile. It's actually, actually insane. Come here. If I can solo you, I can solo Greed. Just waiting for more skills, though. Let me go ahead and get my region. Ah, damn it. I was trying to... I was trying to heal before he actually tries to use a potion. Whoops. Nah, that's fine. change that to 40 percent oh yeah this is like fresh grand potato before they even made improved potions usable by everyone for sure it's got in
I'd say the blind should be doing a lot, but apparently not. I would be thinking you would be missing a lot more hits, but you are definitely nailing me with all of them. Jesus. Tanky little shit. I want to be careful here because misfortune. Thirteen, goddamn. Thirteen already, Jesus. And I should be 24 now. Honestly, everything will probably get easier once I hit 25. Probably. I really didn't want to use the potion there. Did you? Did you game? Uh, sir. I was about to say, is there a better hammer in there? Doesn't seem like it. Not yet, at least. I'm just going to have to be a classic abuser, you know? Just cleric abusing with stuns. The only thing that sucks about it is <laughs> that trying to heal with misfortune on is annoying. It's because that was a fail. Also trying to get points is also annoying too. Because the only thing I have to give me points is um. This skill with a pretty decently long cooldown. So I say the sad part is you guys hear me just smashing the damn keys trying to heal. 
or try to get off a stun at least. It did say out, out of combat regens faster, right? I can't, I personally can't tell the difference, honestly. Oh shit, I didn't even turn in my quest. Let's go do that. Probably give me like a bar at least. Yeah, give me a bar. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I feel tanky and don't feel tanky at the same time. Class, classic, uh, older Grand Fantasia. It's actually funny because a lot of, uh, a lot of the private servers end up replacing the damage formula like immediately oh my god I failed not a huge fan of this side like this boss is probably the my most least favorite one to fight out of a uh, parry because uh misfortune Got to have so many cooldowns. I have this portion. That's good to sell. Oh, no, it actually went through. Nice. Okay, each kill is like pretty much a bar. Oh, this one won't be. Now we level. I can get my uh, other rewards. Another phantom backpack and useless teleport stones. I wonder. I was about to say. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta test it out, you know? <laughs> It gives us a little bit more HP. And now we have full bags. The uh, legacy gear. Level 30 le legacy gear. Foods would help a lot, especially the Caspi foods. Yeah, on the bright side, I'll be able to use a combat mount if I do play 
cleric. I was looking for some potions. And then yeah, huh? The Supreme Bag is in there. Ah, Nucleus. I could I could try and find a, find a way to get a Nucleus. Hold on. Ah, okay. So you can get tin clay, but... Has to be for a hundred. Fuck, man. And you only want to save the hundred. I mean, most players are going to be on 24 7. Just to gain those points. I mean, that's how vile it is. At least we got a little bit more HP. Probably move away from right there. Okay, we're still getting half XP, half uh, bar of XP. Reach kill. I know this is gonna take a long time, not gonna lie to you. It's kinda how cleric leveling is. The payoff doesn't come until like Payoff doesn't actually like come up into like you actually get to the next job. Your actual cleric or sage. Just trying to use up these potions. Even with the amount of blocking I'm doing, I still take so much damage. Jesus. Okay, we're able to at least pull one. God, I don't know if he'll take it all. <laughs> It's not like he's critting me either.
Ah, uh, please. I'm spamming it. Jeez, man. Oh, and I'm out of... Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I'm completely out of, uh... Metapods. Hold on. Since my stats are low, I kind of want that to be low, too. Because I'm just going to be chunking through them. Just chugging the shit out of them if I don't. Two more bars. I could do this too. Because we'll, these wolves have like, well, every monster in dungeons have a long aggro. So I can actually go pretty far into the dungeon without them losing aggro. Like if I was just trying to mob everything up though, that would be a different story. Because some of them like to get stuck on corners. Like, enemy pathing is kind of terrible. Inside of the original Grand Fantasia. Not sure how much better the pathing is inside of Origin just yet. Since I'm still uh, exploring everything. Okay, now we have the mines. I was saying, am I pushing the wrong button? I have to rub my eyes. I was like, Cleric's uh, abuse is just, just about the same way you would abuse a um, druid on these. Well, sage. You good? I was about to say. I say, Sage, you would you would normally heal with a uh, nature. Then you would Gaia's Wrath. And constantly do that over and over again. Heal Gaia, heal Gaia, heal Gaia. I guess I could actually show it, especially to new players who are interested in Druid itself. So Sage. You would use nature's breath and nature's breath gives you a charge point which you would immediately use into where is it it's down here yeah nature's wrath you use nature breath into nature's wrath just because that daze as long as you don't do anything else like replace it with a stun enemies are days for a pretty much good amount of time at least until you get that uh nature's breath off because by the time you turn you're done casting nature's breath there they are still technically stunned and only still have like one second to come out of it 
So as soon as that heals over, you nature you nature's wrath as soon as you're done. And you can just stun chain. You can just infinite days. But the only issue is do not have this on. Hammer specialist ruins that strat. If you're going to use that strat, I recommend you using a staff and picking up a staff specialist for a while. Because after a certain while, uh, that strat doesn't work anymore. It's out of certain dungeons. Ah, oh, shit. Wasted it. Soiled it. Okay, this is weird. I know why I'm taking a lot of damage now. And why I'm feeling the unnecessary need to heal a lot more. That blind is doing nothing. I don't think that blind is actually going off. Because usually that usually this would give a lot more misses. Did they did they increase the uh, the hit chance? That's weird. I'm getting a hit hit a lot more from things that are that hit that with. Now that I'm saying something, it's just like, oh, okay, dude. Here, here's a few misses for you. Like, damn. <laughs> I, like, I should be evading some of it. A lot more than what you're giving me. Yeah, I still have that calculator up, so we can turn in these uh, concentrated powers, if I remember. Okay, we're almost done. Wait. Oh, yeah, I forgot. About the keys. Most dungeons remove the whole key system for dungeons. I'm not... If I remember correctly, Origin actually removed their keys... So you don't have to actually go in with keys anymore. Go into the final boss room with keys. I think they finally removed that. If I've been paying attention. Which is great. I mean, it, it caused a lot of restrictions, honestly. Stay back. Cease. Can I get him away from that key? Because you get a debuff if you hit it. This I can't run away from. It'll probably save me some time from getting um misfortune, honestly. Because he has to walk towards me. 
So kind of kiting and moving around would probably be the best strat here, you know. Less chances of getting hit, too. Because the boss would have to kind of reset his aggro. Which is going to take a lot longer, considering I'm not doing consistent damage. Oh, my frames. Jesus. My frames! Yeah, there's a misfortune. I guess when I apply to blind, I'm going to immediately try and heal. That works too. Because it gives him less of a chance to interrupt my attacks. Well, interrupt my uh, casting abilities. For those of you guys who are new to Grand Potage as well, if you are casting an ability, you can be interrupted out of it by a random attack. It's actually kind of cool because a lot of like younger players who've never heard of Grand Fantasia are now playing. And get to experience Grand Fantasia in a better light of like qual of like quality of life. Not so much of a good first impression towards like fucking ad pop ups. This game is a little bit left difficulty, uh, left di <laughs> less difficulty, less difficult with the um, auto routing actually working instead of Origin. Ah, oh, misfortune. Ah, oh, it's still one off, though. Perfect. Yeah, I guess we could check and see if we need key. Kind of weird. You would, you would think most servers would change the HP of that crystal too, of the key carriers if they still do use them. Okay, now it's gonna be a long little journey through here. You're asking how those are missing him? Don't ask, because not even I understand. Welcome to Gravitation.
Okay, still a somewhat decent amount of XP, even though they're green. Not too bad. So like I said, the server is like in very early stages, considering developer of it just returned like a few days ago. But it's actually doing a lot of work, like very fast, though. We'll say that. Okay, so almost almost twenty seven. I just want to see how we do on greed. That's all I care about. him. How many keys do we have? Uh, five? Yeah, five. Whoops. We got, I can push escape to cancel any charging abilities. Not charging, casting. Uh, let's just run all the way there. Because we'll get a whole bunch of XP if we go into the condemned mines anyway. Okay. Yes, you still need keys inside of this Grand Invitation. Inside of this private server. For now. Who knows if that could change. Okay, you can still blind greed. Which is great. We're definitely gonna need that. What is your stamina at? Not looking great, honestly. should be fine it's like a certain threshold of HP to where he starts using a a way stronger attack which I think he just started using oh yeah stupid uh freeze Gotta love that, man. You guys are realizing that bosses are flinching. No, don't don't think of it as anything because it is it's just animation. <laughs> I say it doesn't actually do anything, but they flinch. God, animations. Ooh. 
Oof. Okay, now he's spamming it. I was about to say, dude, motherfucker, I'm using my heals. Yeah, this is where he starts just spamming it. Yeah, he's, he immediately just starts spamming the shit out of it. Okay, so we can't win that. Not with this gear. Another fun thing is you can carry all the keys with you. So you can just instantly run back to that boss too. That's also another cool thing that you can do. But um, yeah, I'm going to end it off there. Uh, this has uh, been a long enough video. It's pretty much like three hours. That's going to be a lot of rendering. But uh, <laughs> with that said, uh, leave down a comment if you guys want to see me go down Druid again or down the Cleric Path. For this uh little mini go through at least until they start adding more i uh, say we'll see but i'll probably be heading to the next server right uh, um at the moment i think we've seen pretty much everything the server has to offer i don't think there's anything that i've missed so far i think we've caught up on everything and then um uh, peace out